Yeah, we have him. Paramedics say he suffered some head trauma. So they'll have to keep him at the hospital for a few days. And the police officers on the scene reported him making a staggering confession. I need to speak to my son, Ezra. Cheers to you. Listen, I know you miss her, and I get it. She was beautiful and larger than life. You met me at a very strange time in my life. I want us to work together. I would love to offer you a record deal, but it's a bit too soon for that. In the meantime, you should totally join our annual MMM Summer Tour. She only wants us because they're famous. Shouldn't Candy be here too? We'll relay the information to her when we see her. I'm moving in with Ryan. Wait, what? Why? I thought you were done with him. I I need money. I will pay your supplier in full if that's what you need. On one condition. You and I are going to put an end to this nonsense once and for all. I'll just settle the debt with them real quick, and then I'll meet you guys at the gallery right after. And you're doing this... alone? Well, it would have been ideal to have you and Gideon with me, but since it's your big night, bud... No, I couldn't ask that of you. I did it. They're on their way. Good boy. You're out of your mind. You know Ryan would never do this for you, right? If I can show him how to be there for someone, maybe he'll he'll change. You've made a lot of progress, Jasper. How are you feeling about it? I don't know. I guess... Surprised? Oh, really? Never would have seen that coming. I'm always surprised when I do something good for a change. But you have been doing a lot of good lately for others. And for yourself. At first, whenever I got the urge to use... I would think about them. My sister, Tia. I wanted to stay clean for them. But that stopped working after a while. And what worked instead? I started thinking of me. Not like me, me. I mean, (laughs) me as a child. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it's just, there's something special about that little guy. I never wanted to hurt him. You mentioned Tia and your sister a lot, but you never really talk about your friends. Is there a specific reason for that? (laughs) I try not to think about them too much for my sanity. Why? When I first met Gideon, I thought he was pretty chill. We bonded pretty quickly. Used to talk a lot about stuff. I complain about my parents. You know, he complained about his. You know, the just. And we weren't really social, not by a long shot. We used to hang out with each other most of the time and Tia. When she would tolerate us, then this guy comes along. Rich, smug dude, always surrounded by people. Been in a room with him, it felt like staring directly at the sun sometimes. That would be Ryan, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And I don't know what drove him to us, to be honest. Maybe, maybe he was lonelier than he seemed. All I know is we loved being around him. Two rejects like us, hanging out with a guy like that. And the thing about Ryan, well, the problem with him is that when he's good, he's really good, generous, funny. It's his bad moments that are scary. And there's been way too many of them lately. But 
That's friends, right? You stick around and wait for the better times. Not always. I... Um... Jasper? Grow a fucking pear, Jasper! You have no idea how lucky you are. Hey, hey, it's okay. You're okay. That's all that matters. I'm worried about you, man. It's like you're slipping away or something. You never think about the consequences of your actions. You just do shit and hope for the best. What's going on? Don't listen to them. Stay with me. Jess... I'm really proud of you. He took the gun away from you. He took your gun, and I had to shoot him. He was an immediate threat to our safety. He took it, I shot him. Got it? <sighs> Call an ambulance. We're done here. Where the fuck are you, Ryan? Hey, hey, slow down, buddy. Now, what happened? We got there, and... And the cops showed up. I got away, but... I, I heard a gunshot. I, I... 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 I think they fucking shot him. What? No, that's not possible. I don't even know if he's alive, man. Where are you right now? Still way too close to the action. That's where the fuck I am. All right, just lay low for a while, okay? I'll, I'll let you know if I hear anything. <laughs> he shot a prayer. He was trying to reach out to you, and you wouldn't pick up the goddamn phone. Where were you? Where were you? Shot him? You were supposed to arrest those kids, not murder them. What happened to the other one? Mm. Mm hmm. Well, we should hope so. If that kid wakes up, we're. Call me when you hear anything. <laughs> Goddamn cops. Sorry I'm late. Had to wait until the end of my shift. Any news on Jasper? He's still in the emergency room. So what happened? We're not sure. He left with Gideon and then... His parents got a call from the hospital. They said he got into a shooting with a police officer. He was shot twice. The shoulder wound isn't too bad, but... The head one... How's Erica holding up? She's been sitting there since we got here. Hasn't said a word. It looks like we'll be waiting for a while. Should I head to the vending machines? Anyone want coffee? Chips? Thank you, Raymond. Don't mention it. What if he doesn't make it? Hey, don't think about that now. The doctors are taking care of him. I wonder where that fuckhead went. Who? 
Gideon. He's got a lot to answer for. Shit, it's Ezra. I was supposed to meet him after the exhibit. I'll be back in a sec. Hey, Cleo. Are you almost here? Dinner's gonna get cold. Sorry. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna make it tonight. Something came up? Yeah, um, it's a bit of an emergency situation. It's just that we haven't really hung out since- It's Erica's brother. He got shot. We're all at the hospital waiting to know how he's doing. Shit. Sorry. Of course. Maybe I can bring the food over. Okay. Um, thanks. should we do? It's hard to tell. If it were me, I think I'd like to talk about it, but she doesn't really like being around people when she's fragile. Tends to lash out at them. Tell me about it. But I wouldn't feel right leaving her alone in there. Yeah, me neither. Erica. He's dying. There's nothing else they can do. We heard. The doctors are saying this might be a good time to spend some moments alone with him. To say goodbye. What's the point? It's not like he could hear me anyway. We don't know that. He could barely hear me when he was conscious. I doubt he'd be any different in a vegetative state. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. We're going to give you some space. Just wanted to remind you, we're here, in case you need anything. Thanks. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> that was a little cold. What you said about me. It was true, though. You know, you don't always have to tell the truth. Yeah? That sounds about right. Of course you would tell me to lie. It's what you do best. I always thought I was a shitty liar. A persistent liar, <laughs> sure. But a good one? You always gave me too much credit, Erica. Like when I thought you were finally done with your bullshit? That you were gonna get your shit together? What an idiot! I got my hopes up and I should've known. I should've known you were gonna pull something like this. It is not your fault. Who said it was my goddamn fault? No, Jasper. It's your fault. And now we're all gonna be stuck dealing with it while you... For the last time, only relatives are allowed to visit Mr. Bailey. Now please leave. Hi. Here you go. How's Erica's brother doing? It sounds like he won't make it through the night. Shit. That sucks. Yeah. 
It does. I should head back upstairs, um... Wait. I, uh... <clears throat> I was wondering when we could... You know he's still here, right? Uh, who are we talking about? Your, um, your, 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 your father. I, uh, just heard a nurse talking about him at the reception. I thought it was only supposed to be here for a few days. How hard did you hit him? Why? You think I shouldn't have? What? No, that's not what I meant. I... It's fine. I gotta get back to the others. Thanks for the food. No problem. They're saying we're supposed to say our goodbyes, so... I guess that's what I'm doing. I'm not completely sure what that means. Like, how do you talk to someone who's not... there? So the exhibit went pretty well. Lots of people stopped by your paintings. Actually, I think you almost sold a few of them. Heard a couple of fancy-looking guys asking for you, but... Fucking Gideon had already swept you away to wherever the hell you guys were going. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't get mad. Probably the last thing you need right now. But that's so us, right? You do something idiotic, I get mad. And then you make it all go away. Classic fucking Jasper. I only knew you for two years. And you managed to turn my entire life upside down. And you know what the craziest part is? I've loved you all the same. I always will. I just... I wish we had more time. I really thought we'd earned that. <laughs> I'll miss you so much. You fucking dumbass. Is he in there? What the hell are you doing here? What do you mean, what the hell am I? Ugh, just, let, just let me through. No way. You don't get to do this. You don't get to walk in here all innocent and say your goodbyes like none of My this goodbyes? is your goddamn fault. Tia, what? He's dying, asshole. No. You're joking. He, he can't be. He, th there must be something. There isn't, and you don't get to. I have to see him. Fuck you, Gideon. You did this to him. And you expect me to stand idly by while you go in there and make peace with yourself? I didn't do any- Oh yeah? Go tell that to his parents. They're right over there. I'm sure they would love to hear all of your shitty excuses. That's not fair. Look at them, Gideon. Go on, look! It should have been you, and you fucking know that. And I hope it eats you up inside till the day you die. I hate to see them fighting over me. Good thing you're not actually seeing them then. Why you gotta be so nasty? Give me a break. I mean, I'm literally dying right now. Leave me alone! Mom and Dad are probably wondering where you are. Who cares? I got the rest of my life to be the center of their uninvited attention. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that one. It's nice out here. Quiet. It was quiet. Oh yeah? Well, I'm sorry. Am I bothering you? 
I thought you'd be happy to see me. Of course I am. Who wouldn't be happy to hallucinate their dead brother talking to them? Hey, don't be rude. I mean, I'm not dead yet. And everyone's always complaining about not getting to say goodbye. This is your chance to do just that. I wish that were true. It is, Erica. No, it's not. I can pretend like I'm talking to you all I want, but you're not really here. Your last words to me in that stupid museum. You said, I'll be with you in a bit. Feels like I've been waiting for that bit this whole goddamn year. And now I know there's no point in waiting anymore. Like there's no point in sitting next to your body in that hospital room. You're already gone. You've been gone. I said my goodbyes to you already when you left for school. What if it's not about you? What if, what if it's not about you saying all your goodbyes and, you know, all of that shit? What if, what if I need you? How could you possibly need me, Jasper? You never did. Are you kidding? You were always the strongest between us, Erica. And you know it. Now, what if I'm trapped inside my body? Scared and alone, waiting for the moment that I fade. What if I need you to hold my hand <laughs> while I drift away? <laughs> Erica. I'm scared. If I actually let you go, you will. I'm not ready for that to happen. Me either. We need to do this together. So, how was the funeral? <sighs> Sad. Like any other funeral. Walked right into that one, haven't I? I didn't see your face there. <sighs> Too many people there know my face. Besides, I didn't know him like that. And what about Erica? Well, I couldn't just <laughs> walk up to her like nothing happened. Cleo's probably told them all about what went down in that basement. You're talking about the time you nearly blew her boyfriend's face off? Yeah, that. Mm. So anyways, uh, it wouldn't have made a difference. And I don't really believe in that kind of stuff. Huh? You don't believe in funerals? No, I don't believe in life after death. That's uh, basically what funerals are about, right? Give the dead a proper burial so they can get into heaven or whatever. When I die... I'm fine with being tossed in a lake. Let the fish have some fun. You know, we can arrange for that now, if you'd like. Oh, Crispy's got jokes. You're funny. I would have known. So, 
You believe in it, then? Life? After death? Yeah, you took a huge risk to be there. Must have been hella important. It's not that. I mean, I do believe in it. Uh, at least I think so, but... Jasper was my friend. We used to live together, and he was a huge pain in the ass for most of it. But he was also... kind. He actually cared about people and knew how to listen. When he wasn't doped out of his mind. I'm sorry. God, I fucking hate cops. Yeah. And the night I was arrested was the last time I saw him. We had just gotten into a fight. So I wanted a memory of him, you know, that just wasn't that. Did it help? No. Especially with Ryan there. As if he ever cared about him. Hey, next time you have a gun pointed at him, I don't know, maybe shoot? As much as I hate Ryan, I'm not sure killing an actual human being is something I would be able to live with for the rest of my life. Hey, don't knock it till you try it. Just kidding. Sheesh. Miss Warcher is taking her sweet time today. I don't think I've ever seen you so eager to meet her. Oh, she can fuck off for all I care. But the sooner this bitch starts, the sooner it can end. You're not even a little bit excited? About what? A two-year degree from a phony art school that taught me nothing except to not trust institutions? Fair. Fair. Do you have any plans for later? I was thinking we could pack our bags together and maybe- Starlight Boulevard pub crawl? Sounds like a plan. I was thinking of binge-watching Invisible and um, stuffing our faces with ice cream, but sure. It's not fair. He should have been here. He deserved to be here. I know. It sucks. I, I mean, it's, it's so rough to have to do this without him. I know. I'm so sorry. Can we just stay in and some flex and chill tonight, please? I really don't feel like partying much. Of course. <coughs> Good morning and greetings to our honored guests, family members, graduating students, and colleagues. Please take your seats. We are all gathered here today to say farewell and wish the best of luck to all the young men and women who have completed their studies at Ward University. It has been an honor to be entrusted with your education. This is supposed to be a joyful day, and I want you all to remember it that way. Still, it would be unfair to pretend like these past few weeks haven't been hard on our school. Before I present each and every one of you with your diplomas, I would like to invite your fellow classmate, Ryan Flint, on stage. He has a few words he would like to say. You've got to be shitting me. Thank you again, Miss Ward. Jasper was a friend of mine, and a pretty good one at that. He didn't deserve to go out the way he did. Mr. Flint, over here! Mr. Flint, any comments about your upcoming divorce? Tell us about your affair with Judith Ward. Well, many people here would like to hear about my personal life on this occasion, as if it somehow had any impact on my work ethics. I do understand the importance of reminding ourselves that we're all human in the end. We all fall in love, and we all make mistakes. Some harder to undo than others. A few days ago, a young man lost his life during a police operation. What happened to him was a senseless tragedy, one that could have been avoided. I want to express my deepest condolences and most heartfelt sympathies to Jasper Bell's family. They're not here today, obviously, but I hope they'll hear my words and that they'll bring him some peace. As a father, I can imagine what they must be going through. It's tough to lose a friend, but 
It must have been a hell of a lot tougher to lose a son. I met them briefly a few months ago. Truly outstanding people. It's really hard to imagine something like this happening to people like them. But it does happen. And it will happen again unless something is done about it. Jasper needed help. Our young are lost. Scared. Hopeless. We all tried to be there for him as well as we could, but... Sometimes it's just not enough. They need guidance, and someone who can provide it to them. Jasper's family is entitled to justice, just as much as the people of Del Sol Valley are entitled to safety. This is what I'm running for. Sometimes the worst possible thing just happens. I'm running to prevent situations like this from ever happening again. I'm running to keep our children off the streets, and to keep those streets bright and safe for each and every one of us. And it happens to people who least deserve it. Ask the brave men, the heroes of our local police department. They know how much money and resources I've sent their way. But one man isn't enough. Vote for me and I'll keep working with them to put a stop to the epidemic of drugs and crime that has overtaken our beloved city. Vote for me and I'll make sure your hard-earned money goes in the right pockets. Law and order will prevail. Goodbye, Jasper. You will be missed. No more saying goodbye to our children. Not under my watch. Is the graduation ceremony over yet? Yeah. It was horrible. You want to tell me about it over lunch? Oh, right. Sorry. I, I, I completely forgot about it. And, and, I, and I just made plans with, with Tia. It's fine, really. My apartment's a mess anyway. I really need to clean this place up. Great. Thanks. Um, I'll, I'll see you, uh... Tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Okay. Bye. What? Her friend just lost someone. Of course she wants to hang out with her. Maybe she just really doesn't like my cooking. How did he get my address? Hey, Ezra. I hope I'm not bothering you. You're probably wondering why I didn't just send you a text, which I agree would have been faster. But I sort of swore off phones after my little social media scandal. Offline life is doing wonders for my mental health. You should try it. Anyway, I'm writing because I just heard about what happened to Cleo on the news. So sorry you're having to go through this again. She seemed like a lovely girl when we last met. I truly hope they find her and that she's safe. In the meantime, feel free to drop by my place anytime if you're in need of a chat or a drink or anything else. I'm not doing much these days, so you'll probably find me there. For a little while longer, anyway. I'm still in the process of moving and all that. Best wishes, Diego. Hugs and kisses. What the hell was that about? All right, open your eyes now. So, what do you think? It's so... empty? Yeah, well, most of the furniture will be here in a few days, but it's still better than that shitty hotel room you've been staying in, right? You didn't think it was so shitty the other night. What is it, the outside? It's still pretty bare bones, but I'm going to have a hot tub installed. Maybe a table, some chairs. We could do a housewarming barbecue party. I'm supposed to meet Ezra in a few minutes. We're going to this diner he found, and he's going to help me look for a job. Not at the diner, though. I don't think I could handle those work hours. A job? Why would you need one? Just... I don't know. I'll see you tonight. You two have been hanging out a lot lately. Not that much. And he's my friend. Hmm. If you say so. Ryan, we've talked about this. Yeah, yeah. Tone it down with the jealousy. I got it. Have fun, babe. Let me get this straight. There's a beautiful fairground not even half a mile away, and you want to meet here? I know you're all for that grungy aesthetic, but... How did you even find this dump? Sorry. 
She's usually like that. Thanks for the backup, Ez. Anytime. So why are we here exactly? I got this letter from Diego Lobo. Ever heard of him? Who hasn't? Wait, how do you know? It doesn't matter. See these placemats? The letter he sent me, he wrote it in one of these. That's pretty weird, right? Uh, yeah. A fancy guy like him? Why would he hang out in a place like this? That's what I was hoping to find out. Guess he was just passing by. I mean, he's almost as famous as Judith, or at least he used to be. And he wrote you a letter? Hey, don't forget I'm famous too now. I was going to ask about the paparazzi proof attire. I'm just tired of people stopping me in the middle of the street to ask questions about my dad. It's a nightmare. And now Travis wants to go on that Triple M tour? Which, by the way, we should totally do. You're kidding. Of course we could waste our time being outraged that now everyone is interested in us and wants to give us money. Or we could take all the shit that we've been through and turn it into profit. But what do I know? Fine. I'll think about it. boy. Any word from your dad? Uh, no. And please stop saying he's my dad, or I'm going to start asking questions about yours. Please do. Seriously? Didn't you just say that you're tired of... Hold on a second. What are you doing? Who? Me? Just making conversation. No, you're stalling. Now, why the hell would you... Oh, you didn't. Whoopsie. That unknown caller again? <sighs> yeah, probably a spot and bop. You sure? You don't think it's... You know who, right? Oh, don't put that into the universe, please. It is the last thing I need right now. <laughs> Second to last. What the hell, Travis? What is she doing here? Ezra said you and Candy weren't talking. <laughs> well, emo boy needs to mind his damn business. That is his business. That's all of our... B businesses? Hmm. That sounds wrong. How do you say it? I mean, I, I think I got it right, but still. I kissed her, okay? <sighs> I kissed her. I kissed Candy. You kissed... Sorry, I need to process. You kissed?! You kissed Candy. That's amazing. When? Spring break. Yeah. See the problem now? I kissed her, and she... She still went back to Ryan. I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, Travis, it's not your fault. I never tell you shit and somehow expect you to know everything anyway. And... I shouldn't be mad at Candy either. I... She was vulnerable and I can't help but feel like I took advantage of her. I thought she might feel the same way I did, but clearly she didn't. And I want to make it right, but it just fucking sucks to be around her right now. All she needed was a friend. But no, no, of course, I had to fall for her like a fucking idiot. Of course, I had to blow it all up like I always fucking do. Can I say something? <sighs> Go on then. First of all, you sapphics are messy as hell. But what's new? <laughs> You're one to talk. And second of all, I don't know how Candy feels right now. But I highly doubt she stopped loving you all of a sudden. I mean, what's there not to love? <laughs> Plenty, actually. And you know that better than anyone. Okay, maybe you're a bit rude, and stubborn, and needlessly defiant, and a little too blunt at times. But you're also caring, and loyal to the bone. You have the biggest heart, and you're scared shitless at the prospect of people finding out about it. Is it just me, or were there more insults than compliments in that list? I'm sorry, did you want me to lie? So, they parent-trapped us. Uh, they really did, didn't they? Assholes. How's the new home? It's fine. 
I mean, it is beautiful. Very bright and... and spacious. Too bad about the company, though, eh? Sorry. I... I really am a little rude, aren't I? So am I. It's part of our charm. Ezra tell you about that MMM deal? He didn't seem very psyched about it. What about you? I know I should be horrified and offended or whatever. That would be the ethical... Uh, the ideal reaction, probably, but I'm not like you. I'm not a good person. <laughs> you think too highly of me, Candy. I don't think so. Truth be told, I... The main reason why I didn't want to go on tour was so I wouldn't have to spend that much time around you. See? I'm just as full of shit as everyone else. Do you want me to leave? You guys don't really need me. There's plenty of singers out there, and Ezra's famous enough to carry the band for a while. I don't want to ruin what the three of you have, so... If you need me to go... I don't want you to go. I think, given enough time, we could go back to the way things were. You know, before, we could... <laughs> we could learn to be friends again. We were pretty good at that, at least, right? I don't know. Was I? <laughs> Do you want me to lie? Did I just hear them say friends? How long do you think that's going to last? Hey, losers! We're going to go down to the fairground! Are you coming, or too busy jerking each other off? Or both? Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to bring them back together. What a beautiful face I have found in this place That is circling all around the sun What a beautiful dream that could flash on the screen In a blink of an eye and be gone from me Soft and sweet, let me hold it close and keep it here with me. And one day we will die and our ashes will fly from the aeroplane over the sea. But for now we are young, let us lay in the sun and count every Hi, Sam. Yeah, I've missed you too. You know, my pop crawl is only as fun as the amount of people getting drunk. Is this the peer pressure my mom used to warn me about? I'm just saying, it's not fun to be the only one drinking. I mean, Cleo's been working through that beer for at least 30 minutes. I bet it's lost all its fizz by now. Sorry, I'm not that much of a drinker. Me neither. <laughs> Actually, um, I I'm feeling a little dizzy. The bathrooms are over there.
while Cleo's gone. Wanna put a whoopee cushion on her seat? What? No! How did you even- Sorry, that's what Casey would have done. Weirdly, you kinda read my mind. So you did want to put a whoopee cushion. Forget about the whoopee cushion. <sighs> I'll try. There's a reason why it's a classic. <sighs> what do you want me to say about Casey? That I miss her? That she picked the worst possible time to bail on us? That I'm hurt by the fact that she just gave me up for lost? Instead of trying to at least, I don't fucking know, give me a call? Explain herself? It's a start. Cheers to that, then. You know what, Ray? You worry too much about others. Start worrying about yourself for a change. Well, that's my cue. What is this? Your first date. With all this shit going on, we figured at least you two deserve some happiness. You didn't get him drunk, did you? I tried my hardest, but it looks like you two were made for each other. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought to myself, how am I supposed to follow that? <laughs> Cleo and Erica really raised the bar with that performance. I also feel bad for Raja's classmates. Oh my god, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Now I'm kind of nervous about next year. We're supposed to pick whether we specialize in poetry, screenwriting, stage drama, or novels and short fiction before the end of the summer. And I've always dreamed of writing the next great Simlish novel, but I haven't really had that much time for reading this past year. I don't even know if it's something I'd still enjoy doing, to be honest. So you only have three months to figure out what to do with the rest of your life. Sounds about right. No pressure. What about you? What does Year 2 Raymond look like? I'm not sure Year 2 Raymond is going to be a thing. My dad's in a... not so great financial situation at the moment. And I don't think I'm going to be able to cover the tuition all by myself. What's going on? A stuff flew out. Raja uploaded our documentary on Social Bunny? Did you happen to see Raja? She just left. Did she bring her laptop or was she on her phone or- She just helped me pack my bags. Why? Did something happen? It's nothing. I'll just call her in the morning. How was your date? It was really nice. Thank you for asking. Of course. They found drugs in his system. Jasper's. He never got sober. Lied to us the whole time. We can't know that. But we can't know the opposite either. They also said he disarmed one of the officers. That he was about to shoot. That doesn't sound like him. Not the Jasper I know. Mind you, I'm not sure I ever knew him at all at this point, but he's just weird. Something's just not right. And Gideon is supposed to be there with him. We all saw them leave together. But the cops didn't mention him. Like he never existed. He got a text? Sorry, you're thinking I'm crazy. I just keep going over this night in my head. You mean Jasper? Yes. Last time we spoke, I saw him getting a text. Who was it from? I don't know, but he seemed off. And then he left to make a phone call. And next thing you know, him and Gideon are going out for a smoke. And we all know what happens next. Do we, though? I don't think you're crazy, Erica. I think you're right. And I'm going to help you prove it. You're not joining us for dinner? I'm not hungry. I've never heard that one before. Should I be worried? I'm fine, Carmen. Besides, I thought you were mad at me. What's with the pity party all of a sudden? I am mad at you. But I promised Vanessa that I would take care of you guys. 
Big sister duties come first. Look, Casey, you, you fucked up. Royally, but that's the problem with caring. It makes you lose sight of what really matters. The goal we've all been working towards. I never thought I'd grow so attached to a group of rich kids, that's for sure. You're gonna have to work from the sidelines, for now on. But not all is lost. We still got Maddie at Ward, don't we? I bet we can still get some good intel for next year. And that's if he manages not to shoot anybody. He might not have a choice. Burgers are ready downstairs. Dare I say, one of my best batches. You hungry, pretty boy? I have a name. Right. Crispy, is it? Sure. Why the hell not? I'm Rice, by the way. <laughs> what? What is it? <laughs> is there something on my shirt? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's nothing. Uh, you go ahead. I'll, uh, I'll be down in a sec. Okay. Weirdo. You've got to be kidding me. Ugh. Ezra! You are a sight for sore eyes. Did you really have to do that? What? You told everyone I'm your son on live television. Oh. Oh, I I'm sorry. I barely remember that. I was pretty banged up. Your girl tried to murder me. Did you know that? She should have finished the job. That hurts to hear. But I understand. Why don't you sit down for a moment? Been a while since we had a chat. I don't want to talk to you. Then why did you come here? I didn't know. I didn't know she was your girl. You mean Cleo? No. Vanessa. I didn't know she was important to you. That doesn't make it any better! It's not that she was important to me. She was a living, breathing human being and you killed her. Don't you see how messed up that is? No. Of course not. And how could you? How could you understand grief when you never cared about anyone but yourself? Where I see a person, you see a bag full of bones. And what's so wrong about killing something that has no thoughts, no goals, no life besides the one you project on it? You didn't have to mourn her. You didn't have to stand over her grave. I can't help myself, Ezra. I've tried. And it's the only reason why your mom is still alive. Don't talk about her. I had to leave her so she would be safe. So that you would be safe. I can't begin to explain why I do what I do. It's not the life I wanted for myself, but it is how I'm wired. I believe I was born like this. I can only hope I didn't pass that on to you. I stood over her grave. You already said that. I went to her funeral. I saw her casket. Parenting truly is a thankless job.
She was beautiful and larger than life. A storm chaser. I just don't understand, Boris. If Vanessa was buried, then what the hell was that for? I mean, I guess it's possible they sawed her in half. No, what am I saying? This is crazy. Am I thinking too hard about this? Maybe Diego was lying. Maybe this is his dead grandma or something. But then why leave the urn in the apartment when he moved out? How do you forget something like that? Break it. Break what? Break the urn. Throw it on the floor right now, Ezra. And who's going to vacuum Diego's dead grandma off the floor? You? Trust me, Ezra. You have to break it. Break it now! This is stupid. What the... I wonder if I can turn this on. This can't be good. are you here? How is this possible? You met me at a very strange time in my life. 